I've been HIV positive probably 25 years. What makes me get up in the morning, I get woken up about five o'clock by a little wet tongue. You wanna get tickled? Being without dexterate would make my life pretty miserable. I think I would be a very lonely, sick man. I was looking for a volunteer organization just wanted to meet people. And I came upon pause by watching the Oprah Winfrey show. In the long run, it's turned out to be so much more. I've enlisted my husband's help. It gives you that sense of hope. This man, Richard, who has this incredible spirit and this unbelievable sense of going on, it was really taught me personally that you can almost do anything. Dexter is a basset hound corky mix that I adopted from an agency. He was just too cute. Yeah, you like getting tickled. He often takes the burden of illness off of you when you see him wanting to play. Yes, look at you go. You may not feel like doing it, but he wants to do it, and he's not going to give up. I feel that his relationship with Dexter and previously with Angel is part of the reason why he's one of the longest term AIDS survivors. He had it before they knew what AIDS was. When I first met Richard, it was probably about 1996, 14 years ago. It's just a magnificent gift that was given me by having her come into my life. Now, she is married with two children the whole family is dedicated one day a week to coming and walking Dexter. Yahoo! It's just been an amazing part of our life. This is something that we do every week. Hi! Hello. Hi, Richard! Hi, Dexter! Hi, <laughs> You're looking good, sweetie. You ready for your walk, mister? He's a guy who needs to be a grandfather, and I feel that, you know, with our children, that he gets that. He lights up when he sees them. I think it, you know, gives him a little spark of life, too. Are you losing <laughs> weight? Working on it. Working on it. Ready? All right, we'll see you in a little bit. It doesn't feel like we're doing anything. It doesn't feel like we're volunteering for anything. It feels like what we've done is basically just, it's a part of our life. It's become a, a part of who we really are, is that we go and we walk this dog. And it's just become something that we do normally with our kids. And I hope that it's instilling into them a sense of what it means to be a good citizen and be a part of a community. If Paws wasn't around, I wouldn't be able to have an animal. They are actually extending people's lives. I stay with Paws because of my connection with Richard. I just love him. Richard is one of my best friends. There was a time in my life where I thought nobody would give a damn. I love you. And now I know that's not true. Sit. Good boy. Go get him. Lie down. Go get him. Okay. Come on. <laughs> He's dying. I think that's it.